It's a first alert weather day here. I'm Ashley Costanza. If we take a look outside on I-80 at Kingvale, things are getting pretty darn dicey. It is snowy there. There's still chain controls. It's going to be icy underneath that snow after all of the travelers. So make sure that if you're traveling along those roads, you're prepared. Make sure you have chains or four wheel drive with snow tires as some of the rules that they have there. Now here locally, we're looking at a high wind warning, which means gusts that could be up to 60 miles per hour. Now we're looking at sustained gusts of 25 to 30 miles per hour, which is pretty hefty wind. If you've got Christmas decorations, that you're thinking about putting up, I recommend that you wait because it's going to be gusty out there. You don't want your stuff blowing all over the yard down the street. Now, if we take a look right now at our radar, we do have quite a bit of precipitation here. We're still seeing that Sierra snow. Like I said, chain control is still in effect. Raining in California, which will help put out those fires, but could risk flash flooding. Today, outside, pretty warm. 46 degrees. That's pretty warm for 6 a.m. Calm uh, skies, clear skies. No rain right now, but it could shower on and off throughout the day. As we take a look at our winds, already gusty. As we move into the afternoon, 24 mile per hour winds sustained in Carson City possible. Driving through Washoe Valley can be very dangerous. They have controls right now. They're saying if you've got a high profile vehicle, a box truck or a motor home or anything like that, please don't go that way. You could be in some danger, which could cause trouble for everybody traveling. Now, as we move through the day, it gets windier and windier. The highest winds are between 11 p or 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. today. As we take a look into what we're expecting snow wise, well, it could continue throughout the evening but you know it's going to taper off so today we see a little more snow things start to taper off by tomorrow it's moving out sunday overcast but no rain or snow for the future but as we get into next week we see this next weather maker coming on that's what's going to bring us those second round of storms possibly two rounds of storms next week today highs above average. We're looking at possible highs of 58 degrees here in Reno, normally 52. So going to be a little bit warmer, but that wind will get you. As we take a peek at our eight day forecast again, windy today clears up through the weekend, but cools off. And then the end of next week to middle of next week, we start to see that second storm system moving in. So as we plan for our week ahead. Make sure you're staying weather aware because those storm systems could change. And if you're traveling, coming back from possibly the holiday weekend, keep an eye on Tuesday because those Sierra passes could get dangerous once again. So Josh, if you're planning on doing something like skiing this weekend, could be a good time because you'll have fresh snow, but not too much falling out of the sky, keeping those roads a little safer. Yeah, you got to utilize it while you can. It's perfect timing. All right, thanks.